Good day everyone. Um, I know it's been a little while, but today I'm going to be doing a Bible review uh, again. And today I'm going to be doing it on the Evidence Bible by, uh, this is a, a Ray Comfort Bible. Um, it became pretty popular when he was doing, uh, which he still is doing, his um, Evangelist course, which you can go and take a look at online, the School of Biblical Evangelism. Um, I've gone through it myself and it's very good, it's very informative. Um, and I particularly like this Bible and I'm excited to go and get into it with you and, um, and just go through in detail um, what it shows and just some of the added benefits. And one thing that I've come to realize with uh, many different Bibles and many different sorts of study Bibles is that each of them have their different applications. And I have a lot of people ask me, well, which is the best study Bible? And it really depends on what you're looking for or what you're trying to achieve. Um, for example, some of them are, uh, like I've got a, a Bible which is the Spirit-Filled Study Bible and that concentrates on the things of the Spirit, it's very much life application sort of stuff. Um, and then there's other Bibles that are based on creationism and, and around that, um, like the Henry Morris Study Bible. Um, and so they're, they're both very, very good, but both also very different. Um, and then I've got a Thompson Chain Reference Bible, which is, um, again, very different to the other two. And every single one of them in their own rights are very good Bibles, but if you're looking for one all-round study Bible um, that's going to meet the mark, um, it, it's almost good just to have a few because you're not going to get one that's 100% perfect on every single area that they do because people specialise in different areas, but um, Ray Comfort does his on evangelism um, and I'm just going to go through, there's a lot of great apologetics in here as well, so um, I hope you guys enjoy it and um, Let's go take a look at the Bible. So the first thing that you'll notice about the Bible is um, it's got a very nice cover and very nice stitching across the outside. Actually, I'm not 100% sure what sort of material this is. I think they call it a true tone or something like that. But basically, it's very soft. Um, it's very supple and you can even like roll it back like you would with the calf skin or something like that as well. Um, and the inner lining there just kind of keeps it nice and balanced. Um, That'll just fall back into place. Down the side, um, they've got the Evidence Bible written on there, um, which is kind of cool. This is the New King James Version. Now, for the most part, I'm very partial to the King James um, as my preference, but um, for the style of Bible it is, it has a purpose in um, sharing information and going through apologetics, and that's why I'm doing the video on this particular Bible. All right, so let's, uh, let's go take a look inside. One of the great things about this Bible is how many questions and answers there are in the Bible. It talks about points of open air preaching, it's got principles for growth for a new Christian, springboards preaching on witnessing up there, um, and then it's got the in-depth commentaries, um, which goes through so many different topics, obviously the Lord Jesus Christ and, and many, many others, but there is literally hundreds of, of topics and common questions and objections, and um, it's very easy to reference. Um, from here just basically it has where they put it so here's a good one who made God and it's in Psalm 90 verse 2 so we can see here that when we come to the reference point Psalm 90 verse 2 they've got a detailed description of the question who made God which is very handy for any new believer and also to overcome uh, common questions and objections that you might get thrown your way um, also what I want to try and check if I can snag one in here is somewhere hopefully i'll just flip to one here we go so there's a lot of really cool quotes that pop up throughout the bible um so this one is by augustina man's greatest misery is to be without god that is to have an inward connection to the one who is life and existence itself and that's pretty profound and, and a lot of these things that come through are really handy um, along with that um, you've also got a whole bunch of um, detailed descriptions down here of verses and references and, and all that sort of stuff as well. So in that respect, it's a very handy Bible. Um, you'll come to passages like this, um, which do give really detailed information again. Um, and for that purpose, I just think that if anybody's trying to go out there or an evangelist or wanting to witness to people and overcome these questions and objections, and this is a really good way of doing it. In the back of the Evidence Bible, it contains 
um, a lot of helps such as um, a yearly reading plan and that just goes through one year reading the Bible in pretty deep, uh, pretty deep detail. Um, commentary index, so a lot of these will have uh, references and cross references and all that kind of stuff and basically a concordance in the back here. And um, a very complete, very usable, very informative Bible. So that's the insides of the Bible. And um, as for the Bible itself, um, you can see here that um, it's quite thick, um, but the make and, and the quality that they've made it with is very good. Um, one thing, if I can just get the camera to focus in there, um, that you'll see is the quality here and the stitching is right into both of those corners and it hugs the back. And that's something that I really like because I've had Bibles before and they don't quite do that. And then over time what happens is that this starts to warp like that or like that or you get this big funny bow out the front and that's basically all because of the way that they've made the Bible. Um, these Bibles come out of very good quality. Um, the paper quality is very good. Um, there's not too much bleed through from the other side. It gives you plenty of room to write notes in the Bible. Um, and along with that, it comes with two ribbons, um, which is a really, really great help. I like two as a minimum, sometimes even three or four. Um, but that's just as it comes standard. And uh, yeah, that is a really great Bible for many, many people to go and study evangelism, apologetics, and to get out there in the world and to preach the gospel and to bring people back to Jesus Christ. And um, I thank you guys for watching. I hope this Bible review has been informative and I hope it helps when you guys are looking for your own Bibles. Um, but yeah, have many. Have many. Don't, don't try and find the, the one perfect study Bible. Um, the perfect Bible is just a strange plain, plain Word of God. Um, but if you're looking for other helps within your Bibles, um, then have many of them and look at a bunch of different areas and resources and see what a lot of different people say and be discerning in what they say because they are different in some areas. And uh, God bless.